Hello and welcome to your English news broadcast live on Air TV, live from our headquarters at Asmara with your domestic and international news in brief. I'm Zahra Baduri. But first, uh, first up with your head, heads up exclusive headlines. Commandable family and community health services provision on your primary domestic. Tuberculosis vaccination program. Iran says drone attack on military site in Isfahan was a threat. Pakistan does dozens killed in a Pakistan bus crash. <coughs> Welcome to your domestic in brief. Uh, the Ministry of Health branch in the southern uh, Red Sea region reported that in the year 2022, commandable family and community health services has been provided to the public. The report was made at the at an activity assessment meeting conducted on 8, 28th and 29th of last January in the port city of Asab. At the meeting in which uh, Mrs. Amna Nur Hussain, Minister of Health, and Ambassador Mohammed Said Mantai, Governor of the region, uh, took part, activity reports of the year 2022 and plan of action of the year 2023 had been presented. According uh, to the reports presented by Mr. Mohammed Anwar, head of the office branch uh, in the 2022 vaccination coverage, has reached uh, to 98% treatment for pregnant women to 74% and delivery services to pregnant women to 51%. The reports further noted uh, that the prevalence of communicable diseases has significantly been reduced. HIV AIDS uh, new infections has declined as well to 0% and communicable uh, efforts have have, commandable efforts have been exerted to control the prevalence of that of TB. Mr. Mohammed uh, went on to say that community-based environmental sanitation program has been introduced in all villages in the region. Modern uh, Lateran usage has reached uh, to 94% and the remaining villages are expected to implement the program in the first quarter of this year's 2023. Laboratory x-ray and uh, physiotherapy services have been introduced in the Asif Hospital. The reports also added Ambassador Mohammed Said Mantai on his part commanding uh, the activities conducted to ensure the health of the public called for strengthened effort to enable citizens in the remote areas of the region become beneficiaries of health services. <coughs> Speaking at the event, Minister Amna Nur Hussain said that effort will be exerted to address the shortcomings of medical supply and health infrastructure. Berkelosis vaccination program has been conducted in Af'abit subzone with a view to control the disease that is uh, transmitted from animals to humans. According uh, to reports, the vaccination program has been carried out on over 18,000 goats and sheep. Uh, Mr. Mahmoud uh, Abdullahi, a veterinarian in the subzone, uh, said that the disease could be controlled through sustainable individual and environmental sanitation activities and called on farmers to vaccinate their livestock on the time on time and seek advice from health professionals. Mr. Mahmoud also said uh, that uh, sustainable awareness rising activities will be carried out with a view to develop the understanding of farmers on the disease. According to reports in the year 2021, a similar vaccination program has been conducted in the subzone on 35 goats and sheep. On your final domestic Eritrean cyclist registered shining victories in several competitions conducted on 29th of last January. According, uh, accordingly, Binyam Girmay, one of the outstanding Eritrean cyclists, has become winner of silver medal at uh, the competition held in Spain uh, by finishing the 141.6 kilometer race in second place. Binyam Girmay has become winner of bronze medal at the competition held in Spain before two days. Members of the Eritrean cycling national team, Henoko Muluburhan also won second place at the final stage of Tour de Gibbon cycle championship according to the overall results of the tour. Natnael Burhano and Dawit Yamane stood fourth and fifth in the time trial, Henok Muluburhan third in overall points and third in best young rider and Akhlilu Arafaina 
third in mountain competitions. Eritrean national cycling team has also become third in the overall result. In related news, uh, one of the experienced Eritrean cyclists, Smith Kel Iob, has won third place at the third tour of uh, Sharjah held at uh, in Sharjah held at United Arab Emirates. Stay tuned for more on your global reports up next. And on your reports on the international line, uh, the ministry said uh, the site suffered only minor damage, uh, through, though it has not been independently verified. The Wall Street Journal and New York Times quoted unnamed U.S. officials as saying Israel was behind the attack. Uh, the Israel has not com commented, however. The purpose of the site is unclear through reports suggested it could be connected to missile production. Iran's defense ministry, on the other hand, uh, said uh, three drones were involved in the attack on Saturday night at about, uh, 20, at about uh, 23.30. It uh, said uh, one was destroyed by air defense systems and two were caught by defense traps, causing minor damage to a building. There were no casualties uh, described. Local authorities uh, did not comment on activities at the site but called it a workshop. Iran, Iran's official RNA uh, news agency said that the drones had targeted an ammunition manufacturing plant. Asfahan province is home to a large air base, a major missile production complex, and uh, several nuclear sites. Pentagon spokesperson Brigadier General Patrick Ryder said that the U.S. military played no part in the strikes but declined uh, to speculate further in Reuters news agency's report. At least 40 people have reportedly died after a passenger bus fell off a bridge into a ravine and bus bursted into flames on Sunday morning in Pakistan's Blockhiston Block Block province. There were 48 passengers on board traveling from uh, Quetta to Karachi, a local official said, adding uh, that uh, the death toll is likely to rise. There were 48 passengers on board uh, the bus when it crashed crashed, according to Hamza An Anjum, a senior official from the Lesbla district on another report. Anjum told the Pakistani news uh, website Dawn that three people, including a child and a woman, have been rescued alive so far. Speaking to reporters uh, at the accident site, Anjum said uh, authorities would conduct DNA tests to identify the remains of the passengers as their remains had been badly mutilated. Uh, Mr. Abdul Quddus uh, Azenjo, the chief minister of Balchistan, offered his condolences and called on authorities and rescues, rescue teams uh, to provide the best medical facility to the survivors of the crash. Major road accidents occur regularly in Pakistan with poor road quality, lack, safe, lack of safety rules, and uh, reckless driving during the number, contributing to the number of the fatal accidents. Accidents. Over 27,000 people were killed in Pakistan roads and highways, according to the report on 2018, estimated by the World Health Organization. Bus accidents uh, and resultant deaths are common because the vehicles are often filled to capacity and seat belts are not frequently in use. Dear viewers, that is all for now with your reports. Until we are back with some more news, stay and enjoy the rest of our programs. But until then, these are a recap of your today's major headlines. Commendable Family and Community Health Services. Tuberculosis Vaccination Program in Afabit. And victories of Eritrean cyclists at several competitions. On your global report, Iran says drone attack on military site in Asfahan was drought. And dozens killed in Balchistan bus crash in Pakistan. From our headquarters here on Airy TV, thanks for watching and have a nice one.